listen, the Geon banner is actually pretty close. And it's going to be our first introduction to you, who. Um, and I'm kind of torn on this banner, man. I'm really kind of torn because honestly, I want to summon for Geon, but there's some things that to really be considered because this banner is actually really freaking good. Like, I, 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 I don't know. It's going to be tough. So we're going to talk about it today. So before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out GamerSubs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. I'm just saying, if we get to, like, I'm, I'm going to make it astronomical because it's not going to happen. If we get to 50,000 subs, I'll get a GamerSubs tattoo. I don't think it's going to happen, right? GamerSubs right there. Use code Tystra for 10% off. I, I just put it out there. Put it, the gauntlet down. But... Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into today's video, right? So we got Gion up here, but first things first, I want to talk about Sanwa. Sanwa, I think, deserves a little bit of praise because at the beginning, like Sanwa was my favorite character wise, like in regards to her personality and having the little coup de day thing. Um, but in all honesty, she's become so freaking good just to have on teams. Like we can honestly tell just from her as a character, she's used on a bunch of different teams as that side character. If you look at the tier list, right? And again, we're using Pride Wins tier list. It's just the baseline. Everybody chill out. Just saying. Sanwa is up there with Mortifi, right? Mortifi. So she's one of, if not the best, four star units in Weathering Waves. So to me, Sanwa automatically gets a thumbs up. Great character, great pers great personality in my opinion. Great character just to have on your overall teams. So she's really, really good. Now, we dive into Mordifi, right? Mordifi is a great off-field DPS for you to have on your teams. Again, as we looked at the tier list, right next to Sanwa as one of, if not the best four stars in the game. Like, it's, it's crazy how good these two are. And they keep doing really, really good. So, uh, Mordifi, I use... Or I used a good chunk at the beginning of the game until I started getting my JG. I got my, you know, shorekeeper and all that other stuff. So Mortify is still really, really good though. Like if you pull Mortify, he's good for those teams. Honestly, everybody should be building him. And I will stand by that. So if you're going for this banner and you get Mortify and you get San Hua, great, great units. Both of them. So overall, thumbs up from me, right? Then we got Yuhu. Rexlin's favorite character, right? I'm just saying, like, she's a decent character. Now, I looked up a little bit about how to play her, right? And the thing with her, it's it's very unique. She has this kind of gotcha system built into her kit where you get these antiques and you appraise them and you get the certain stack. If you get all four to be correct, you get all the boosts from, you know, if you got a pair, if you got triplets, if you got two pair, you know, so it's it's really, really cool. I like her kit in that sense because it's very unique. Um, she's a DPS, but has a healing potential with her burst or ultimate. Or what is it called in this game? I keep forgetting what it's called. I think it's a resonance. Uh, what is it? Resonance something? I feel so bad. I feel so bad not knowing what it's called. Somebody just, somebody just end my career now at this point, right? <laughs> uh, Forte? No, it's not Forte Circuit. I'm so dumb. Don't mind me. Resonance Liberation. That's what it's called. But with the Resonance Liberation, you get a little bit of healing, uh, at least from my understanding. But the main th thing with her is getting those uh, four like boosts to kind of like actually activate. And I was kind of seeing how you do it. See, it seems very complicated, but I want to practice it a little bit before I give my take on that. But I do think she has the potential to be really, really good in the space. Um, honestly, if we're looking at the tier list here, I think that she's probably going to be around the same range as uh, Donjin and uh, Yawu. Yeah, he's about bedtime for me. So I think she'll be around this area, maybe with the Baiji, but or Baiji, whatever. But overall you who looks like a really fun character in general so i'm pretty excited to try her out so i'd say yeah it's a thumbs up it's another four star character the first uh new four star character that they've released right now let's talk about Gion. Gion is one of the characters that i didn't pull at the beginning i wanted to save my currency and wait for the next set of banners which i think the banner after him was uh 
It was either Jinsi or no, it was Yinlin. Yinlin. I, I keep forgetting about Yinlin, but Yinlin was right after him. I wanted to save, so I saved for Yinlin. But he's still really, really good. He's considered still one of the better DPSs, as you can see right here. We got all these great... Like, honestly, the five-star characters are all really, really good for the most part. Um, But yeah, he's up there. So if you have him, he's good. Uh, He basically acts like, you know, just a major DPS, having the dragon swirl around him and being able to attack with him. Honestly, if you have Gen C, you don't really need him. But if you don't have Gen C, then Gian is a really good uh counter, like... Or not counter, but sub. Um, if you have Encore, which is pretty crazy that they put Encore right there. Or if you have Zhang Liao. Um, I do agree that you don't really need a Geon. So if you think about it that way, like even for me. Like I'm really considering not summoning on this banner. Because I have the Zhang Liao. I have Chang Li. I have Jin Si. I have Yin Lin. I have Zhe Zhi. I have all these characters and Mortify and Sanwa to help out with these teams. I really don't need a Jian. But if you don't have any of them and you did not get your free Zhang Liao, Jian is a decent one to go after, right? So, now, this is where I would really tell you if this is a should summon or anything like that. But there's one thing that we have to consider, right? And it's from this character list. We, or I believe she's here. Yeah, we have to consider Camellia. Now, I have been doing my best not to pay attention to leaks because I really, I'm, I'm excited for this. I need this character. Oh my God. Some of the stuff I have seen is, is insane, right? So for me, I look at Gion. Okay. I look at Gion and I'm like, is Gion, Yuhu, Mortify, Sanwa more than Camellia? And this is just for me. If you're a new player to Wuwa, and you need a good banner to start getting stuff, like, immediately. This Gion banner is insane. Like, you get a great DPS from there if you're brand new starting today. You get a new Yuhu, which she's really, really good from what it seems like with her kit. You get two of the best four stars in the game with San Hua and Mortifi, right? But at the same time, Camellia's right there. And I'm all for it, baby. <laughs> I'm all for it, man. Whew. I'm a losing scoop. So, to be honest, I'm going to say it like this, y'all. I really am. If you're summoning on this banner, your best bet is to go until you get the Geon. Or, if you really don't want to go for the Geon and you just want a decent DPS, go for the Yuhu. Go for one copy of Yuhu, one copy of San Juan, one copy of Mortify. It would make some good sense um, if you went for that. However... With Camellia on the horizon and all these other DPSs that you could have later on, I don't think that Gion is the go-to. I think you're going to summon for a rerun, summon for Jinsi. Jinsi's is going to be fantastic. So, But yeah, I'm going to say skip. I'm going to say skip if you're into Camellia. If you're not into Camellia and you need a really, really good team in general out the gate, then you could summon on this banner. So. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code TIES for 10% off. I'm just saying, 50k subs. If we get to 50k subs somehow by the end of the year, which we're at 2,600. Like, I, there's no way we're hitting 50k subs. If we hit 50k subs, I will get a Gamer Subs tattoo. It'll be my first ever tattoo. So, it'll go. I'll put it right here. Or I'll get it, get it as a womb tattoo. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not doing the womb tattoo. But I will get a Gamer Subs tattoo if we hit 50k by the end of the year. It's not going to happen. So, I'm just saying. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're summoning for Gion or if you're going to wait for a chameleon. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.